this one? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, as you can see, uh, we've been busy over here working on uh, some parts over here for the RX4. Uh, been doing a lot of stuff on the background, a lot of background uh, projects uh, for, for the four as far as the tranny and engine goes. Uh, I've been busy with, uh, now that the kids are back to school and then uh, with my day job, truck driving, it's just been real busy lately. So I've been trying to do whatever I can when I can uh with the spare time that i have uh but uh you know like they say the little drop in the bucket fills the bucket up right so this is kind of the scenario i've been going through but as far as the tranny goes uh pressure washed it uh i did notice the tranny had a few areas that was leaking like the oil pan uh there were signs of the oil pan leaking there were signs of the uh of the transfer case leaking as well right where the shifter went it was leaking on there too the little uh, pocket here was also leaking so uh, I went ahead and pressure washed it there was a lot of corrosion on it unfortunately from I guess rainwater from just having it stored away so, but basically what I did I tried to pressure wash it and wire brush as much of that stuff off it was like electrosis it was pretty much corrosion it was even the aluminum away uh, you could see some of that right here on the bell housing over here uh, well, it's kind of hard to see now that I cleaned it, but just a lot of pitting here. And uh, that's basically from all that corrosion that was just building up. So I just went ahead and wire brushed it through D40, cleaned it up or whatnot. So did what I could. Now, another thing too, uh, how to make this gasket, homemade gasket. I got how to buy like the special cutter to make the circles uh, perfectly uh, round. And this is pretty much going to go... Oops, upside down. I was a little worried there. But it's going to basically go on there, right on the money. But, uh, so this is the stuff uh, that I've been doing on the background. Working on the oil pressure regulator for the 13B engine. So, uh, a, lot, a lot of stuff that's been going on in the background. Another thing, too, I had a uh, special order. This, uh, well, not special order, but I had to drive down to uh, Mazda Tricks and buy this uh, seal that goes on the bell housing so i figured since the bell housing is already off might as well change it swap it out for a new one uh there was some sign that it might have been leaking so uh you know what better way to just go ahead and uh, swap it out right now that it's off than you know just take the chance but yep so that's what we're gonna do today we're just gonna go ahead and uh, finish this up close it up and uh just get it ready to install it in the rx4 all right now that sucker was stuck on her from all that corrosion so i'm gonna have to clean it up all right now that we got this all nice and clean we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the new one on here and this i'll just keep this from leaking right there so seals nice and tight so I'll put this one in here it should go in easy Well, I guess they didn't want to go in that easy. Yeah. Obviously, it needs a tight fit. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add a little oil on here so it could stick on here. So 
don't want it falling off when I put the bell housing on. Okay, that should hold it in place. Gonna add a little thin layer of a uh, hylomore. Mm. Okay. Uh, we got the hylomar on there and put the gasket now technically it doesn't really need it you could just get away with it by just using hylomar or or any kind of silicone that's oil resistant but just did it for a peace of mind just to make sure it doesn't leak but this will definitely do the trick to where it's not gonna leak at all so there we go so this is the part that you want to be real careful as you can see this rings one in a pop out the oil should be helping there we go Just, there we go so we're gonna add a little uh blue tight lock just a little bit just to play it safe don't want any of these coming loose all right and that pretty much does it for the transmission uh hopefully it won't leak but uh i'm pretty sure it won't uh, we sealed everything up good just the way it should be nice and tight torqued it down to specs and um, It's pretty much ready to go on the engine. So uh, Took a little longer than I thought again, you know, just busy in between schedules or whatnot, but uh, uh, I've also been working on the engine uh, we just did the flywheel a couple of days ago Last week, I uh, just finished up the front cover, whatnot, but uh, yeah. we're at the long stretch now, just got to do the oil pan, and that's pretty much it. All right, quick, I want to show you guys a little upgrade that I did to the uh, 13B engine as far as uh, oil pressure goes. This is the, the rear oil pressure regulator and this is the front uh, I already took care of this one those of you who are following me on Instagram uh, I'm sure you guys probably seen a short uh, reel or video uh, on how I went about uh, getting 65 psi to 80 uh, don't want to go more than 80 this is not really a race engine or anything just want to have something decent for the road but uh, basically what you do you just get uh, some shims like this they're not that thick they're about an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch more or less um, you get these at pineapple racing or your local hardware store but what you do you just drop two of them inside and you got to do that for the front and the rear in order for there to be uh, adequate oil pressure and that's two and you just basically put the spring in here and let me see if I could do this with one hand and then you just uh, pretty much drop it in there and just torque it down and that's pretty much it so 
I'm gonna go ahead and torque this down and then we're gonna go ahead and put the oil pan in. Pretty much call it a day. Alright guys, and it is the next day. Uh, we're just getting everything prepped so we could go ahead and uh, put that engine in. I've been kind of uh, going at it this morning. Uh, just doing little things here like putting the engine mount, uh, tranny mount, just little things. Uh, just trying to get it ready to go in. Uh, also have the engine hoist here. Set this baby up. It's been a while since I used it, but it's up and ready to go. Um, I want to go ahead and show you guys this here. So this is the throw out bearing that uh that was on it. This is the original one. This is the new one here. And uh got the clip here. So just want to show you guys how uh these things go on here. So well it's already kind of rusting from me handling it, but uh yes yeah, so there's the clip pretty much here, let me put the camera down all right here we go again so here's the clip and the clip needs to grab onto the fork right here so i couldn't find anything on the owner's manual or the mechanic book so i'm showing you how this goes back on i kind of have forgotten because i uh, had a special order it. it took a while for it to get here by then i kind of forgot how it went but yeah this is the top section so the clip goes in through the top once it snaps on the top uh, you put the fork down in here so let me show you what I mean by that so this has to face down and that's the clip goes into that groove just snaps in there just kind of make sure it's centered that's pretty much it and just get the fork just kind of make sure that these little belly things go right on there. So there it goes. And then this one falls. It's got this little L shape. It's got to go in here. There it goes. I already put it on. So it goes on there this way. And then all you do is just slide it in. And then this piece right here has got to snap on onto this little thing here so there we go look at that huge difference compared to the other one the other one was stuck in there and it didn't want to slide it all so we're all set that's pretty much it for the tranny now we could go ahead and uh, put it on the engine over there
Oh, look at that sunset, fellas. But this looks even better. Check that out. So, uh, yeah, it's another late one today, but uh, we we got her in, man. Um, again, tired beat, but uh, you know, this was one of the hardest parts. Now the fun part begins, and that's uh, you know the puzzle, putting in the alternator, water pump, but. Um, I could do that during the week, doing it here and there, just trying to, you know, advance as much as I can. Uh, I still got to modify this uh, Weber. Uh, I got to do the, the fuel jets and whatnot. Um, manifold's old school uh, racing B intake manifold. Uh, port matched as well. Um, if I haven't mentioned, I'll say that it, uh, this is a street port, so uh, it's nothing too crazy, too wild, but. Uh, yeah, check it out. Did the blue uh, paint on there for the letters. Tranny. It's all bolted up. Everything's bolted up. It's ready to go. So, um, yeah, there we go, guys. RX Sports getting there. So, hope you guys enjoy this content. It's a bit long, but, um, you know, there's, there's some stuff in here that you guys might, um, you know, be looking forward to. And might help you guys out with your build or whatnot but there she is look at that view beautiful all right guys well thanks for watching appreciate you guys subscribing and uh taking the time to you know comment and just watching the, all the vids and, and the bills so just want to say thanks all right we're out